Hey guys, what is going on? It is me, Box 12 here, and welcome back to the Wizard PPE episode 51. We just bo- we just broke, excuse me, 50 episodes, which is a lot, and uh, I'm very aware I have not done very much considering 50 episodes is a lot, but nonetheless, we are 4-8 on the road to 5 and even 6-8. Mainly, the, only 5-8 though, because attack is it's gonna be a pain, as I've already said. So... That's exactly what we're going to do today. We are going to we are going to farm snake pits till the end of time or until I no longer need to farm snake pits. And we are in a perfect spot for that. So we're just going to I suppose what I'll do is I'll skip ahead because trust me, I have a lot of stuff to edit out usually. I don't want just Oh wait. We haven't done a mad lab yet. But I don't need one. I'm tempted to do that Mad Lab just for the sake of doing it. It was a real shame because Noah was here earlier today and I thought, oh great, he can, you know, he'll do a, a co-commentary with me and that would make the episodes a lot more interesting and I wouldn't have to edit out as much so that would make the episodes longer, but he wasn't feeling well. Um, so I didn't want to make him have to do that because that wouldn't be fair. That would, it would not be fun when you're not feeling well. <laughs> so maybe, maybe another time. Uh-oh, get away from that Urgle. We don't want to be near that Urgle whenever he confuses us. Or if we get confused. Because then if he starts armor breaking us, that's the end. Uh-oh, we're getting further away from our target. What I'll also do, if we find a snake pit, I want to explore it for a treasure room. Because I didn't do it last time, and I could have. But, yeah, you know. Things happen. You forget. Oh, Minotaur. I swear the chances of him dropping a minute or him of the Minotaur dropping a snake pit are so incredibly small. Then again, nobody seems to oh. There we go. That's our ticket. Sweet. And I think we are going to be soloing this, so let's get right to it. We're gonna explore every corner though. So we already have a couple of pathways off the bat that we can explore. Yeah, Snake Pit honestly is one of my favorite dungeons, if only for the treasure room aspect. I love the treasure room in here. And if we can find one, I'm going to gush over it for you guys and explain explain my reasoning. Because I think it's, it's such a cool concept, and I wish there was more of it in the game. Because, like, there is the horrific creation in the Mad Lab, but I don't really think that that's... That's not a treasure room, because you it's there every time. Actually, yeah, that's not a treasure room at all. <laughs> so. Yeah, let's see if we can get one. Uh, there's plenty of pathways that I've missed out on. Also, finding a treasure room will let us get that other speed, so that will be two for the price of one, basically. Which is a great deal, because... Oh, it's a dead end. Oh. Which is a great deal, because... You know, whenever we're strapped for time, I really don't want to waste any more time than I have to. Because I know, it's been 50 episodes. I could have I could have done so much more. But a lot of the time, it was just me. Oh, would you look at that. Alrighty then. Here we go. Step on the switch and fire away. Dodge the arrows. Don't get uh, bleeding. Yeah, that's right. And just keep on going. Sweet. Now we just need seven more speed. Awesome. Love snake pits. Love them. I actually think uh, the snake pit guard, the boss of the the treasure room, is actually a cooler boss than Steno herself. I don't know why. Maybe... Oh, you want to know why? He reminds me of the coil snake. Bingo. And for those of you that know, I did a top ten coolest quest monsters video, and the, uh, the great coil snake was number one. I just think he's so freaking cool. Well, we got quite a few different ways to go here. And a whole other side of the map that we haven't explored yet. But there's a dead end, so... Blows that theory out of the water. But maybe... Oh, you... Okay... This is, 
actually, this might be the correct way to the boss. Oh, or that other one, the one over here. That's probably it. If this is a dead end, if this doesn't lead to the boss, then the other one definitely does. Oh yeah, this is also going to be the first episode, or I don't know if it's the first, but one of the very few episodes where the day I'm recording this, it's going to go up because I used up all of my footage for episodes 49 and 50. That was just how much I had to cut out because there were so many times where I just wasn't saying a word because I didn't know what to say. I was just kind of speechless because I was, to be honest, bored and tired. That's a terrible combination, especially for a day to record. Why would I... It wasn't wise. It wasn't a wise decision to record whenever I was tired, but it's in the past. I think those episodes came out perfectly fine, but I'm definitely more animated for this one. I'm talking a lot more, and I'm not just... Yeah, it's pretty cool. Oh, this is... It's not a snake. This is a cool snakes. No, I'm... These snakes are purple and green. They look great. Oh my god, the colors. They make me great. Colors! Alright, so if you don't move, Steno won't change... Oh, that was a good one. Steno won't change up her pattern. Or, her, her, um, dagger pattern. She won't throw them in different directions. Which is really interesting. She only changes if you change. So if you're in a good spot, don't move. And don't really worry about the pets either. Or the... What are those things called? Those aren't called guards, are they? Ah, no... And no scoob. Alright. I'm gonna take a brief few minutes to clear the rest of the dungeon to f try and find another... Ooh. Oh, wait. This won't be a tea room. There's no way. Yeah. Give me some decent fame, though. Alright, so I'm gonna go scout out the rest of the dungeon. I'll cut, because that's... It's just walking. I'll cut to it, and if I get another treasure room, then you'll know, and if not, we'll probably be outside. Oh, would you look at that? Awesome. Oh, my hunch was correct. I thought there might be another one. Awesome, that's three speed for the price of one. Wizards do have a pretty huge advantage. I mean, do you hear that? It's a vicious sounding... Bleeding. F sounding, uh... Sounding spell bomb. Cool, well, I don't think it's... There will be a, a treasure room could fit up there, so... I think we're done, so we're going to head back to the exit now. Re-enter the realm. That gives us a whopping 45 speed. We only need five more. We might be able to finish it today, if I'm lucky. If we find another snake pit with another treasure room in it, and then if I can quickly find another one. Alright. First things first, though. Let's give the... Uh, pfft, are there... Did they go to Oryx? Did they go to Oryx? I didn't get any lag. Huh. Let's go to the other realm, then. When you know what you're doing, you know, it's it's kind of hard to be all wide-eyed about the game. Like, in the beginning, it was like, whoa, what's that creature? Whoa, what's that thing? Oh, am I, am I gonna die? And whenever you're unfamiliar with everything. It's kind of like Minecraft. In the beginning, it was all magical, because you didn't know what the heck was going on. But as time went on, you get numb to that whole concept and uh, idea of the mythological creatures and whatnot. Which is kind of, it's pretty sad, actually, because it's kind of an analogy for growing up. It's harder to have an, uh, an imagination whenever you get older. It really is. And that's sad, because I love my imagination. <laughs> and I love other people that have an imagination, because I think that they're the people that, you know, they keep this world alive. And so whenever I look at Realm... I try to re I try to recapture that spark of whenever I first started playing because that was I mean this was like my favorite game whenever I was playing it because it was just so addicting you know maybe it was my favorite game for the wrong reasons but it was nonetheless it was fun and the struggle of losing a character while sad made me stronger because the first time I lost a character it was devastating then the time after that it was easier and it got easier and easier after that now if I lose a character I'm like ah great Oh well. There we go. There's that snake pit. But this guy is Yellow Star. He could potentially Rage Dagger. Rage Rage Talon. Very interesting. Did he lose a bet? Here we go. Spell bomb that. Come on. 
Right on. Dang, did that get her? That was a bit late. That would be awesome if it did. <sighs> would you look at that? Awesome. Alright. Time for that treasure room. We only need four more speed. That's incredible. <gasps> the hidey hole. Oh, wait. We still have another way. Right here. Oh, what a tease. Okay, well, let's get out of here then. The realm is probably full of, more full of people now. Yeah, it's fine. Yeah, you know, one speed. And you know, one speed's all you need from one dungeon. So, let's continue our adventure.